Is that a plan there? Yeah. Jeremy Clinton, or so. Wednesday night, 
and most people don't know Wales the night, pretty much nothing, you know, except set in and, and oh, Ireland the night, oh, what's that, you know? Paul would have been the first city in Britain, uh, and then, you know, so what do you call it, uh, the fact that, uh, you know, that he knocked out the, the British uh, representative in Ireland versus England, and, you know, in a contest, an international contest, shows you what sort of standard uh, that he was there. Well, I never really, th I'd be honest with you, I never really thought about being, uh, turning professionally until about, I was about 24. And uh, then there was a Barry Hearn, a professional promoter, uh, in 1984, had a gym over at the A's, started a gym over here, which, and I, at the time, I wanted Jimmy Clinton to be my coach. Well, the professional games are, and um, there, there was people uh, within the professional game who promise you the sun and the moon and what I call And you only, <clears throat> excuse me, you only have to look at some of the guys who are just as gifted as Paul was we're not getting the fights. What they say is, is there's um they say prostitution and uh boxing is the thing that we do just businesses in the world, you know, so I think that's 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 the symbol as I thought. You're not getting money for it and you're fine that it's heart and soul. So I have the local boy. For Africa with St. George's and St. Malachy's in the green, and from Kilcoddy in Scotland, Gary Burrell in white. She's 6 2, so it should be a fairly busy contest. I had nine contests, broke off for two, two years, but then I had the tenth. But after the ninth, the next contest was about two months later, and uh, I lost my bed. <laughs> you know, I got stolen this year. And that was the the instrument basically that took me over to the club during the, the afternoons, which meant when I lost that day, I just sort of, I, I, did, I didn't, I, for some reason, never thought of buying another one. You know, I, I just sort of went into the doldrums and sort of didn't train. Did the, and then I came back, and I think the one of the reasons why I actually didn't do so well after that was because not only did I take two years off, but when I was I was in full training for I said about six, seven months. Wasn't drinking, obviously not smoking, and at the end of the day I was getting put back. There was fights getting put back and put back and put back and then at the last minute I ended up bad. Uh, you know, I, I, I think I, I think it ended up just not sort of the, the, the life out of me a wee bit. When I eventually did get the fight it was a little bit too late, you know, that way. It was an, uh, an eliminator for a version of the world title. So, it, you know, it was up in the, it was up in the high standards anyway. Oh, you can't go 100%. Oh, you can't go 100%. Oh, Paul backs for a club called Clown, which is on the falls of 
and they, they close. And uh, the guy, the guy John Kahn, who was the, one of the trainers in, in the club, decided he would bring Paul down to me to train. So he brought him down, and uh, the rest is history, you know. Paul did the whole sparring the first time he did come down. And uh, I think the fun, it's the old thing that I can remember is uh, whenever I did hit him. I didn't mean to hit him hard, like, but I hit him. Mm-hmm. And he turned around and said to Jimmy, here, Jimmy, you hit me. <laughs> and Jimmy turned around and says, well, what do you want him to do? He didn't like that, did he? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll box it there nice and late. And still go to university. And, I mean, I used to take him home at night after finishing the year or around the others, you know, and I let him run him up home. He lived up in Springfield. And, I, and then he had to go home. After knocking his mouth out of here, then he had to go up to the house, get the books out, to 12 o'clock at night or whatever. And Captain, man, you know, he finished up with yes, he went through, and he went through the university. And I gave him a lot of credit for that too. I had uh, put a lot of years of study which gave me a B to university. Done an honours an degree in sociology. Took a year out, passed in the degree, and then went back and done a postgraduate diploma in hotel and catering management. We'll try and keep, try and keep as many kids as we possibly can interested in the game. Try and keep them off the streets, give them something to do, around swimming about the streets and standing at the corners. We'll have many of Catholic and Protestants in this club, and we'll still do. We'll have and they're getting all very well, so they are. They're mixing in and blending in more one more. Well, as, as my coach and mentor, Jimmy Clinton, would say, anybody, whether it be Ian Paisley, Jerry Adams, or anyone, can come into this room, can come into this club and train, as long as they leave the politics outside. Or else don't get in. You know, simple as that. Hopefully, the future holds something a bit special, and I think it shall. You know, because you always can look at it positively, and um, that's just the way life is. If we can do the uh, the hardships, the goods, the bads, the ups and downs, but you just can't keep it restricted. That's it, yeah.